Nicole, this isn't sick on your no, right. Healthy. Last year, at the end, Nicole was sick, so she was holding her right hand, so I started holding it. <laughs> My name is David Rios, I'm principal of Major General Murray High School. I'm also the principal of Alta Vista High School, and I'm also the principal of Vista Visions Academy in Vista Unified, so um, kind of busy, but unbelievable to be here. Thank you, parents. I know uh, Nicole touched on this a little bit. Thank you, parents. You guys have done an amazing job, not only with these children, but thank you, mom. Thank you, dad. Thank you, mom. I mean, you guys have been absolutely amazing. Uh, your kids are unbelievable. Um, Major General Murray is one of our continuation schools. So uh, kids in Vista who fall behind in credits, uh, circumstances in life, creates the uh, some events that might not uh, be perfect at a comprehensive school, so we get them at our school. Um, I'm very, very happy that we got this one. Uh, she was telling us a story, uh, Ms. Templin, the counselor is here as well, she'll talk in a little bit, but um, Victoria was telling us that uh, years ago, her brother was at our school, and uh, her dad used to sit on the ELAC committee back in the day, and so there used to be childcare, and she used to sit in one of our classrooms as a young person, and uh, Chuck Hoover, who is the principal, said to the dad and to the young lady, and I'll introduce her in a second, we don't want you to go to any of those schools, we want you to come to our school. <laughs> so this was kind of a fate, unfortunately kind of a fate, but she's at our school, she's gonna graduate. Um, unbelievable uh, kid, but you know, we talk about kindness, and I, I was thinking of her the, uh, a couple days ago, and I found this quote, and I don't even know who this guy is, but it says, unexpected kindness is the most powerful, least costly, and most underrated agent of human change. Bob Keery, I don't know who that guy is, but that's an unbelievable quote. This young lady, Victoria Milan, embodies that every single day, not only on our campus, but elsewhere. Um, you know, I, I talk about kids who smile, and kids who are kind, kids who are nice. This young lady smiles every single day, no matter what's going on. Um, you see her before school, you see her after school, you see her at lunch. You talk to her, she's always smiling. So without further ado, Victoria, Felipe, and Miss Tumble. Thank you, Mr. Williams. Thank you, Mr. Council. My name is Victoria Milan, and today I am currently a student enrolled in Major General Murray High School. This is my father, Felipe Milan the principal, Mr. Rios, and the school counselor, Mrs. Salcom. Before I intermarried, I used to go to Rancho Buena Vista High School. I went there for about three years and then decided to go marry halfway through my junior year. When I was at Rancho, I didn't feel motivated to do my work since I was already failing some classes due to having a lot of homework. I felt like I was drowning in work and projects from all the classes that I had. I would even get sick from all the stress I would have. In the middle of the night, Sorry, in projects and the one class that I had, I would get stressed from out. I would have in the middle of the night, being up at 3 a.m. working on homework and projects and studying for the next day. I was discouraged at Rancho and I didn't the support I needed to move forward with my work and finish my goals that I had in mind. I felt pretty upset about not getting anything done and I, and I knowing go, I was going to fill my junior year. Then I missed school for four months due to an emergency trip. I had to go to Mexico with my mother and be there for her and my grandma due, for her, due to her being very ill. While being in Mexico, I looked at my options for when I was going back to school. I didn't feel confident in myself returning back to Rancho. That's when I decided to change schools and go to Murray. When I entered Murray, I had no idea how it was going to be for me as a new girl in school. But everyone there welcomed me and I felt like a warm environment. Just by being there for a few days, I knew I made a good decision by picking that school and finishing my junior year and graduating there. When I entered, I noticed how the teachers would pay attention to you and help you with anything you need help with. And like when I was at another school, the teachers would be busy and didn't have time to attend you, to attend to you along with the other students in the classroom. Mary is a type of school where they try to treat everyone the same, they make the same. Mary really did change me inside and how I see the school now. I changed inside because I felt welcome and you know, I could actually finish my work on time and turn it in. Now I feel proud of myself and not upset as before. Mary has taught me to keep on moving forward towards my goals and actually accomplishing them. The biggest lesson that I learned throughout the school year was to walk my own path. 
I learned that people may judge you at first for the decisions you make and paths you take. You always have to keep in mind to focus on yourself and not others. I learned the hard way that being by myself is not as bad as I, as I thought. It helps me concentrate more on what I'm trying to achieve. I know for a fact this will benefit me later in the future. I plan to go to Maricosta or Palomar College. I'm really undecisive right now, but I plan on studying for photography, which is something I've always looked forward to in life. When I was a little girl, I've always looked forward to studying and becoming a photographer. Growing up, I never had up, I never had the chance to join classes and study. But now I know for sure I want to study and become a photographer. I want to thank, I want to say thank you to the staff at Murray for giving me this opportunity and the Chamber of Commerce as well for making this happen. Thank you to everyone who came, and especially my peers. I just want to say great thank you. It's easy to see why we picked Victoria. She is, she embodies the kind of student that we want all of our students at Murray High School to be. She perseveres, she has integrity, she always has a positive attitude, she's always willing to help with teachers, with other students, and like Mr. Rio said, she's got this incredible smile going all the time. It's that warmth we have students coming to Murray that feel a little lost, a little scared, maybe a little broken. And Murray is a family. We're a little nest. We're a little cocoon where they can come, and then they blossom. And this, and Victoria is a student that is the perfect example of how a student can go feeling, from feeling a little lost to being a shining star. And she literally is the shining star at Murray. And I'm also. We got a double package here because Mr. Milan has been an awesome parent also at our school. So I wanted to give him a little shout out too because it is true. I think it was probably like eight years ago or something that he was helping me when I was the uh, ELD uh, what was I, resource teacher and we were working on our bylaws for Murray High School. It's like, oh, that's like kind of boring, isn't it? And he would come faithfully and we would sit there and translate and talk about the words and I didn't realize at the time that little Victoria was in our child care coloring pictures and that she was a little seed coming over to Murray and blossoming. So anyways, just wanted to give a shout out to Mr. Milan and now it's his turn and thank you all for giving me this opportunity to share this wonderful little shining star with you. Buenos días a todos, les agradezco que estén aquí, todos los estudiantes, échenle ganas, tienen muy buenos maestros, o muy buenas escuelas. Les agradezco al director, a la maestra, y pues mi discurso es muy cortito, pero muy agradecido con todos. Gracias. Sí. Well, I'm a translate for you. He said good morning to everyone and thank you and to all the students to keep on moving forward and never to give up on your dreams and goals. And his little speech was a little short, but he said he's very happy to everyone, especially Mr. Rios and everyone who made this happen for me. So thank you.